All right, let me talk about the Total Gym. This little thing here, the Total Gym, this is, this is just the base model here. There's nothing fancy about this. The Total Gym costs about $200. Um, it's one of many different workout machines that you can get um, right here at home. This is down in my basement. Uh, this is pretty much where, where I do most of my exercising and workouts. Wife and kids, they all use all this equipment as well. And I just wanted to show you a few of the basics on the Total Gym and why it's so cool. Um, first of all, I mean, it's very lightweight, lightweight piece of equipment. It folds up pretty lightly. Uh, I mean, it's, it's not like it's ultra light. I would say it's probably in the 50 to 60 pound range, but it folds up and can hide under things. Um, this, this piece here, this, this here raises and lowers to different heights. You know, I generally have it sort of here in the middle. Um, and this, this is something you can work out with safely without damaging all of your joints, ligaments and tendons, and does a great job exercising all of the main, main parts of your body or whatever. Um, I'll often use this as a warm-up exercise for doing other weight equipment or martial arts exercises um, in training. Um, but this, this here is great for a lot of different reasons. Um, and let me just show you a couple of the basics here. I mean, it's kind of like you have a fly system. You have cables here, you know, with cable pulleys. And this, this handle here goes on a cable around the pulley. And it's actually pulling what I call the sled. And this is on rollers on these two tracks. And there's two, there's two here. So when I wanna push, for example, doing something with a chest exercise, you can keep your feet up, keep your feet up on the sled, and you can just do, you know, basic chest, chest exercises, much like a bench press. And you don't have to keep your feet on the sled too. You can kind of keep them on the side if you want. I usually keep them up here. But what you do is you can do, do a very simple workout, nice and easy slow and controlled. Now I have my core tightened up here too. So it's almost like doing a um, ab crunch exercise at the same time because you're holding your, your core um, tense to hold your body up while you're doing your, your primary bench press exercises here. Now what's cool about this is you can, you can alternate. You can do punches, straight punches. You know, you can just alternate. And you can go up high you can go down low like this. So this covers the chest. So I might do, I don't know, 20 to 50 of these, depending on what level I'm at, to warm things up here. That's about 20 and you start to feel warm in the chest, which is good. Um, and then simply all you have to do here is turn around. You turn around and use the same system here, but instead of sitting up high, you sit down lower here on the sled and you hold on to these to kind of support you and you put your feet up. Now you don't have to put your feet up for this, but now you're working your back like this. You know, you're doing, you're using your shoulder blades and shoulder blade contraction exercises. It's the opposite of bench pressing. Now again, you're using your core to keep up straight and you're not keeping out here, you're keeping your elbows in nice and tight. And it's just like, kind of like a rowing exercise. As a matter of fact, you can actually sort of sit in the middle of the sled and, and pretend like you're rowing. And you're bringing your elbows back, shoulder blades in together, like you're squeezing a ball between your shoulder blades. And you go slow. You never want to go really fast. That's where you cause damage. But this is a lot like a rowing machine. You're strengthening your back, your core, your shoulders, your arms. And then right from here, you can actually switch and go right onto bicep exercises here. You lean back just a little bit, and you're actually working your biceps. Like this. So I might do 10, 20, 30 of these. And you can go right into triceps too, where you keep your elbows to your side and you're kicking back like this. And you can work your triceps. So that's biceps, triceps, chest, back. And you can do all kinds of creative things with this machine. So for example, you can sit here on the, on the sled and you have this here and you can actually kind of cross your legs here 
and you focus on your pecs here, right up here, and you wanna work the upper part of your pectoral muscles, and you start to punch in that direction, like this. Always remember breathing. Exhale, exhale. So you can do that side, and then you can do the same thing on the other side. Very easily. Switch over to this side. Sit in the middle of the sled, support yourself, kind of aim in that direction. Like this. Again, I might do 10, 20, maybe 30 of these. Nice and easy, nice and easy. You don't want to hurt your rotator cuff or anything like that. So you can do that exercise. Now we'll talk about core too. What's cool about this machine is that you can work your oblique muscles and your core muscles very, very easily. Sitting on the sled and using your handles, sitting up straight and keep your feet on the ground at first. Rotate, slow, simple rotations like this. See? Put your feet up, like this. See? You do rotations, pretty cool. You can sit on your knees on the sled, like this, which allow you to get a different, um, different type of a row where I'm actually stretching out my lats, get a nice stretch on this machine. So just for stretching, you can simply shrug. You can do shrugs if you want, shrugging your shoulder blades, or you can do alternate pullbacks like this. Like this. Again, you can do triceps, but now you can get really, really down and gnarly with your trice with your triceps too. You can actually squat over and do this and really focus on your triceps. You can hold it, go back slow, and get creative with this. Same with the curls too. If you want to, you can sit way up on the front of the sled, lay back, and do curls this way too. You can get as creative as you want. You can isolate, if you want to, you can isolate your, uh, your trapezius muscles here by going like this. Straight arms, slow, steady movements, never too much weight. So you can do that. The next thing you can do with this machine, very, very, very easily, is make use of the lower end of the machine here. So there's these little handlebars on here, and they come apart with a, a simple peg, like this. They assemble very quickly. So usually what I'll do is I'll come down here and put on some tunes, listen to some music. So again, you lay on the bench. Use your shoulders and you can more or less do a shoulder press. You come down as low as you can. Bend your knees if you want to. Nice and slow. You could do a shoulder press. That's an awesome exercise. You can you can totally feel that right up on your shoulder, right on the top of your shoulders here. Um, that's pretty handy. And then you can take these off, these pins. They come apart very, very easily. Again, these are very lightweight. Comes with foam pads, just lightweight metal. And then what you do is you put them up front here in this direction, put the pins in place. Like so. So now you got handlebars and guess what? You can do some uh, low angle pull-ups, which are awesome, awesome exercises for, uh, you position yourself on the sled, by the way. It's an excellent exercise for doing the uh, precursor to pull-ups on a pull-up bar. But you basically can do this like a stretch. You more or less let your body just relax. You can get a good stretch in your spine and your shoulders. And then you can go into pull-ups. You pull back and put your elbows in your back pocket. 
just like a just like a classic pull up. Pull these back, down, back, down, back, and nice and slow. And that's awesome for the back muscles, for the lower back, shoulders, and even your uh, forearms. So that's like a almost like a pull up exercise. And again, you can you can adjust the height of the machine to make it harder by bringing it up higher. You can make it easier for beginners going down lower too. So our kids or my wife might go on the lower range. And it kind of depends on how you feel that particular day. Um, taking these back off, again, it happens very quickly. It doesn't take that much time. <laughs> you put this back down here. Now I like to do leg workouts on a different day. But what you can do too, what my daughter does sometimes, is you'll actually put your feet in the foot pegs and you can actually do, I call them sissy squats, light squats. You sit down lower and you do squats here or you can lay back if you want to and do squats this way. And then if you, get, you want to get fancy, make it a little harder, you basically lift one leg up. And right now, I mean, I can totally feel this up here on the quad muscles. So that's pretty good for legs. So I might include 20 to 30 of, the, 30 of these and they believe me, they start to burn after a while and just make sure you do both sides so you keep things equilateral or proportionate. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's pretty much the basics of the total gym. It doesn't take a lot. You get a really cool workout, a real good basic workout. You work all of the key muscles, muscle groups. You stretch your ligaments, your tendons. Um, you get good muscle development without overdoing it. You know, nothing, nothing crazy, nothing heavy. And you look it up online, there's a whole bunch of other exercises you can do on this machine, but those are the basics. And, you know, I like to do that three or four times a week at least, if not every day if I can, to do something. And it just gives you a good basic workout. Honestly, five to 10 minutes, that's all it takes to get a really good workout with the Total Gym.